Okay guys, now let's look at some basic woodwind riding tips. So I have my Nucleus demo open here from the brass video and I just realized this track is a decent kind of starting point to look at some ways that you can use woodwinds to enrich your compositions. And again, of course, I'll have to just state some of the more fundamental basic mistakes that we covered in the other videos as well. And you might have guessed it, it is not using all the articulations you have available as well. So some articulations that people maybe not use, you know, not as often is trills, for example, which can, you know, give a very magical effect. Stuff like that. And also not, you know, only using, say, the flute and maybe only the flute and oboe, while you also have beautiful instruments like the clarinet with a much warmer round sound. And the bassoon. And I'd also maybe say that one of the key mistakes a lot of people do is not understanding the core differences between these instruments. And you can read about that in the instruments part of this module, but I'll state it again. So the flute is the only flute instrument together with the piccolo flute, which works very different than say the oboe and clarinet. The clarinet is a single reed instrument, which is giving it a bit more of a round sound compared to the bassoon and the oboes, which are double reed instruments, and they both have a bit more of a nasal sound. Let's listen to that. The bassoon is similar, but darker. But it's also really soft and velvety and beautiful in a different way. So I'd encourage experimenting more with the bassoon and the clarinets because they're all different colors that you can paint your compositions with. So again, just as with other instruments, explore the different articulations and play with the maybe less commonly used instruments, especially in modern cinematic music like the bassoon and clarinet. Especially in a lot of the modern hybrid kind of things, they are not used a lot it's like that goes for woodwinds in general but sometimes the only thing you hear if someone is actually using woodwinds is a flute or something so you know use it because there's a lot of potential in this group of instruments now the second thing is quite obvious based on the brass videos and it is you know not creating lyrical um, realistic phrases that allows the player to breathe so again just you know having it keep like going and going in circles with no space to breathe, compared to... and stuff like that, which is more realistic in giving the player more time to breathe. Don't mind the extreme reverb here, by the way, I just realized the send is like really high. Anyways, that is a couple of the things that I want you to think about first and foremost. Second, um, it is ignoring all the different ways that you can actually use the woodwinds to enhance your composition. So the most obvious way to use it is like here, using it as a melody instrument. But other ways that you can use the woodwinds instruments as well are as background kind of, you know, fluttery, beautiful textures that thicken the orchestration and make it more interesting. Like, let's listen to, to this little combination of instruments here, which is the trills in clarinets and um, bassoons and oboes.
So that's another way that you can use woodwinds. A third way is to double up, say, string patterns and things that you have. So this MIDI says violin runs, and it's because I just duplicated the MIDI over to flutes to give the string pattern a bit more of a warm, lush sound. Let's listen. So that's another way that you can use woodwinds. And then at the end here, I have um, had them duplicate the, the pitch percussion and the strings. Which is also a beautiful effect. Let's listen to that isolated. There are here some other ways that you can use woodwinds to add some more power and a bit of a magical kind of feeling to your tracks. So you can, and you can also create really beautiful harmonic content with them as well. For example, the bassoons can be really beautiful for this. And you can use all the woodwind instruments for that as well. And bear in mind that when I'm playing these chords now, it's way more bassoons that you can actually realistically play in the orchestra. I'm just using it as an example to show you the sound of the bassoon when used in a harmonic context. All right, so those are different ways that you can use woodwinds to enrich in your compositions. You also can use them for runs and things like that, little background textures like here. Those are all different ways that you can use woodwinds. So with that being said, I hope that gives you a little bit of a better pictures of the different ways that you can use them. I would probably focus on some of these things in the beginning so it doesn't become too overwhelming. So let's quickly recap. You can use them as melodic content. You can also use them to double, say, violins or strings or other instruments by doubling the existing instrument with the tone color of either, say, the oboe, the flute or whatever you feel like. You can create beautiful background textures or rhythmic patterns that thicken and enhance the other ostinatos or patterns that you have go going on. Or you can use other articulations like trills and things like that to create really magical background textures. And as always, remember that they need to breathe, so create realistic passages that showcase, you know, the human way of playing the instrument. That's all I have for you now. I'll see you guys later.